Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss about one of the project that is online shopping center. So this is basically an e-commerce project uh, built using Java. And I have already made one video uh, on this project about the demo of this project, like how this works and what are all the functionalities available in this project. The base code for this project is available on my GitHub and I will paste the URL in the description box. So this is uh, the second part of the video where I will discuss the whole uh, guide for uh, setup of this project in your local and how you can run this project and uh, uh, like uh, check this in your local. So let's continue. So first you have to uh, go to the URL that I have provided. This is the GitHub URL. And uh, here, if you scroll down in the uh, readme section, you can see uh, most of the steps are already given. So uh, this, uh, these are the technology that I have used in this project, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And these are the backend, uh, Java, JDBC, JSP, Servlet, and databases, MySQL. These things I have already discussed in the previous project. And uh, like uh, all the URLs also I have provided uh, for related video to install these softwares. And let's see, uh, let's follow all the steps for installation. So first you have to check all, uh, if uh, all the software required is installed in your system. So for that, you have to just open any command prompt. And uh, here you have to just uh, search one by one. So first we will check whether Git is installed. So for that, uh, Git hyphen effect version. So if it is giving some Git version, that means it is installed in your system. If not installed, just go to the uh, like uh, uh, Git install installation video that is already available in my channel. So you can check uh, the whole procedure of installing it. I will also add these things in the description box, the URL for this installation. Again, now you have to check for the Java version. So Java, Java version. So it should be greater than or equal to 8 version. So right now it is 19, so fine. And now uh, next is Eclipse Enterprise Edition. So for Eclipse, the normal Eclipse will not work. You have to install the Enterprise Edition. And this should uh, look like something like this in Eclipse IDE for E. So it should uh, look like this. And next thing is Apache Maven. So for that, you have to just uh, write the command Maven, MVN, hyphen even version. And if it is not showing uh, some version, that means, uh, yeah, that means you have not installed in your system. So you have to install it. Next thing is Tomcat. So Tomcat, uh, if it is not installed, we will install it in the ETFs. So it is not an issue. Next thing is MySQL server. So you should have installed uh, MySQL also. Uh, or you can uh, directly check for the MySQL workbench. So workbench will be uh, good. So you should uh, check whether my, MySQL workbench is not uh, installed in your system or not. If it is not installed, just install it and then come back. For MySQL also, you can check uh, like MySQL hyphen hyphen version. And if it is showing uh, some version, that means it is fine. Otherwise, you have to install it and then come back. Okay, so now we will head on to the net, next step that is dummy database miss license. So for this, you need the uh, MySQL to be installed. So after installing, you have to just uh, open some command prompt. And here you have to connect to your MySQL. So for that, you have to enter the command like MySQL minus U. And you have to give the username that you have entered while installation and then minus P. And after that, if it asks for password, just uh, enter the password. And once uh, you enter the password, it will open uh, the uh, MySQL uh, command like this. After that, you have uh, to go. You have to go to the README section. And here, scroll down. We have uh, written a SQL query in this file. So just control click on this. It will open another file. And uh, here, scroll down. And you can see there is uh, a code written here. So you have to just copy this file. So you can click on this copy raw file. So once this code is copied or you can drag and copy this whole file. So after copying it, you have to just uh, paste it here. So double click on this and it will paste. So now you can see uh, the commit has been success and uh, the database dummy database has been uh, initialized. So for, to check uh, if database is initialized successfully or not, you have to write use shopping part and here select start from user. So if it is showing something uh, here, that means uh, 
uh, your database is uh, successful. This is one of the way in which you can use directly the MySQL command prompt and uh, run the execute the database command. If you don't want it to execute it through the command prompt, there is another option you have uh, that is written here. You have to open the MySQL uh, workbench. So for that, just uh, search for MySQL workbench in your system. And if it is not installed, please install it. So once you search for that, uh, here, uh, if, if no connection is available, you have to click on plus symbol. And here you have to enter the username and password that you have installed, uh, that you have given while installing. So right now it is uh, showing in my system here. So I will just click on this and here enter the password. So I will enter my password and click on OK. Once you do that, it will open a query box for you. Or if it is not showing here, you can just click on file and uh, or you can just click on plus symbol here. This plus symbol. So it will open a SQL uh, query uh, box for you. And here uh, you have to go to, again, go to this uh, uh, file, control click on this and it, it will open this file here. And here you have to copy this uh, raw code and go back here and paste this file. So once you paste it, uh, you have, you can see there is a uh, button, yellow button, execute the selected portion of the script or everything. So you have to just click on this. So once you click on it, you can see uh, in the response, everything is success. And uh, now the database, the dummy database has been created. And if you wanted to check this database, uh, what you can do is you can refresh the schema section. And here you can see shopping cart is available. Here. And inside the table sections, you can see orders uh, and everything is available. So what you can do is uh, you can go to the user section and right click and select roles. So you can see uh, admin and everything is showing here. That means uh, the database initialization is successful. Now we will uh, move on to the next step. Uh, that is uh, generating Gmail app password. So actually, this project is using uh, the mailing functionalities. So you will uh, get an email uh, whenever a user registered to the website or whenever an order got placed or whenever some order got uh, shipped. So these things I have already shown in my previous uh, video. So if you've not seen it, uh, please go to my YouTube channel and uh, please watch it first and then come back. Okay, so now we will uh, uh, see how we can uh, generate an app password for your email account. So for that, you have to uh, first go to the URL that I have mentioned here. And here you have to go to the security section. And in the security section, you have to enable the two-factor uh, Two step verification. So here you can see how you sign into your uh, Google. So if it is not enabled, first enable it. You have to enable it, then only it will work. Now the ne next step is go back here again, and there is another URL that I have mentioned here. So you have just click on here, and it will open uh, a box to generate an app password. So here first it will ask you to log in. So just log in it first. So it is right now logging in. So after logging in, it will ask you, uh, yeah, you can see uh, one window has opened where it is asking to generate a password. So here in the select tab section, you can uh, select other other option. And here in the, uh, like it will ask you uh, for which website you're trying to generate. So here you can write like uh, Ellison Electronics and then click on generate. So once you click on generate, it will uh, generate your 16 digit uh, password. So I'm not clicking it because I, I have already generated it. So you, once you click on this generate, it will uh, generate your 16 digit password. So you have to note down that password uh, somewhere on your email ID also. So I hope you are done with that now. And now I am going to the next step. So this is done for now. And now we are going to the next step that is importing and running the project through Eclipse EU. So for that, you have to first open the Eclipse Enterprise Edition. Uh, so go to the search box and here you can search for Eclipse. So you can see two options are showing. One is Enterprise Java Web Developers and another is Eclipse ID for Java Developers. So this ID for Java Developers will not work. You have to install Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developer. And if it is not installed, please install it. If it is not showing here, you can directly go to the Windows and All Apps. And here you can uh, like uh, scroll down and go to the Eclipse section 
and here you can see Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java IDC. So just click on this. Uh, once you click on this, it will uh, start the Eclipse for you. And here it is asking for workspace. So you can select any location that uh, from uh, like uh, as a workspace that you wanted to uh, create or store the project. So just select any location. You can browse here also and click on launch. So once you click on launch, it will uh, start the Eclipse ID for you. And you can see it is started now. And here, what we have to do is we have to clone the project first. So for that, we will again go back to the readme file. And here you can scroll down. Actually, I have written all the steps. So if you follow these all the steps, then also it will be fine. But let's see, we will go through one by one. So next step is you have to go to the import the project. So for that, you have to go to your project, uh, like uh, this uh, GitHub profile. And here you can see there is a code symbol. So you can just click on code. And there is HTTPS. So you can just copy this uh, URL. So I have copied. Or uh, the same thing I have pasted here in also in the step. So you can just copy this URL. It is actually the same URL. Now, once you copy it, now we have to go to the Eclipse again and here go to File, Import, and here in the different sections, we have to select Git and Project from Git. After that, click on Next and here click on Clone URI and paste the URL. If it is, uh, uh, it will, uh, like most probably, it will automatically take the copied URL. If it is not taking, just paste the URL that you copied and click on Next. Once you click on next, it will uh, like uh, fetch all the branches available. So you can click on the master only, no need of other branch, and then click on next. And here it will ask for the directory location where you wanted to store the project. So you can keep it on C drive also, but you can keep it uh, as per your preference. So I am changing my uh, drive to somewhere else. Uh, let's say little go, and then shopping cart. Click on save. So I've saved at this location and uh, leave everything as it is. Click on next. And then it is cloning the project uh, into that location. So let it clone. Uh, it will take time based on your network connection. So you can see uh, the clone is completed. Now it is going to uh, next. Click on next again. And here it is showing a uh, shopping cart. So just select that and click on finish. So once you click on finish, this shopping cart project will be imported in your system. And let me open it. So right now you can see some cross marks are there. So uh, this all thing, these all cross marks will be resolved. Uh, but before that, we have to uh, just uh, go to the next step. So here it is saying uh, you have to go to the uh, application properties and you have to update some values. So first we will go to the application properties. So Java resources, uh, SRC, and here you can see application dot properties is there. So open this application properties file, and here you have to update uh, some details. So in the previous step, we have generated some uh, email ID app password, right? So same email ID you have to first enter. So my email ID was the Twitter port dot at the rate gmail dot com and my password also so you have to paste uh, some password here i am just uh, keeping some dummy password but you have to uh, paste the actual password that you generated in the previous step okay and uh, the next thing is uh, updating the database detail so here uh, the driver will be same uh, this uh, database connection string will be same but the username and password you have to put uh, your database username and password like while installing mysql you may have entered some username and password right or while executing the command, same username password you have to put. For now, it is uh, uh, for my system, it is root and root, so that's why I am keeping it as. So uh, I hope you have done this thing. So this is the first step. Now the next step is uh, you have to uh, build the project. So for that, go again uh, there and right click on the project, and here click on Run as and Maven Build. So once you click on that, it will ask, uh, it will show you another window and where it will ask the goals. Uh, so here in the goal section, you have to write clean install and then click on apply and then run. So once you run that, it will open a console and here you can see some executions are coming. So basically it is downloading all the dependencies for this project. You can see uh, the build is success. That means uh, the build is success. Now we can update the project and start it. So the next step, uh, the same step I have written here. The next step is 
uh, you have to just uh, click on the project and check if there is some error in the uh, build path. So for that, uh, just go to the project and right click and there go to the build path and configure build path. And here you have to see if there is any cross mark. I, I don't think any cross mark here. If there is any, uh, you can try to resolve them or remove the error. So for now it is, uh, there is no error. So this is fine. Now the next step is, uh, you can see, updating the Maven, uh, Maven project. So for that, uh, you can right click on the project and go to the Maven and update project. And here you have to select this force update and click on it. So uh, this is updating the project and force update is also completed. Now again, go back to the readme. And here uh, we can now start the project. But before starting the project, we have to do Tomcat configuration. So if you have uh, already configured the Tomcat in your uh, Eclipse, so you can just right click on the project and run as and run on server and then select uh, all the things. But if it is not uh, configured, Tomcat is not configured, then you have to just right click on this and here again run as run on server. And here you can see uh, there is a yeah, you have to increase this window and here you will see there is uh, an option manually define a new server and here uh, in the server select apache and select any version uh, higher than eight or nine so select any and click on next so if it if it is installed in your system you can directly browse it and if it is not installed in your system like apache tomcat 9.0 is not installed you can click on download and install so it will download it for you so i'm clicking on this I accept next and you can give any location so uh, you can keep uh, C drive and Tomcat and then uh, after downloading you have to browse to the same file and click on next once you, you are done with that, you can uh, select this project and click on finish. So now you can see uh, the project is going uh, getting started at this uh, localhost 8080. So these all things are available here. Sometimes you, you may face like uh, this uh, port is already in use. So in that case, you will have to change the port. So that is our next step. You can see it is mentioned here also. So to change the port, what you have to do is you have to go to the server sections here in the below and you have to double click on this. So once you double click, it will open uh, a tab at the top and here you have to go inside ports, HTTP 1.2 uh, and here you can change the port. Suppose uh, 8080 is already in use, so you have to change it to 8082 and now you have to select it and right click and then restart. So once you do that, it will restart the project at 808. So it is started now and now we can access the project at 8082. So yeah, so you can see now it is running at 8084. So this is all in this way you can uh, do the setup for this project and uh, I think uh, I have created a separate video on detailed demo of this project. So if you have not uh, watched it, uh, please go and watch it. I will add the link in the description box also. And also, uh, please like, share and subscribe to my channel, uh, guys, because I can see I am getting a lot of views, but uh, the subscriber count is still less. And uh, also, uh, one more thing, I have created a, a like separate uh, Java projects playlist. So where you can see uh, I have uploaded uh, three, four projects also, online book store, tender management system and frame ticket management system. So if you wanted some other project, please uh, comment below. I will try to add them and upload it here. So that's all for today and thank you for watching this video. Bye.